Hi guys, welcome to the Artist Server. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up ZFS in Fedora Workstation Linux. Now, as you know, I have a series of videos where I'm showing you guys how I'm building up my HP Z840 workstation. This is going to become my primary workstation going forward. It is also a great machine for a desktop form factor server if you're interested in setting it up for that. But in my case, I'm going to be using it as a primary workstation machine and my uh, OS of choice here is Fedora Workstation Linux. In some upcoming videos, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to set up a very unique ZFS storage setup on this workstation. Now, as a prerequisite to that, obviously you need ZFS. So I'm going to dedicate this video to show you how to get ZFS set up in Fedora Workstation Linux. All right, so let's get started. First, basically, I'm going to be following the instructions on ZFS on, uh, ZFS on Linux.org. So I will go to ZFSLinux.org and you can basically come down here and click on the getting started. So I'm just showing you guys where to find instructions in case you're using a different OS, you can have, uh, you can follow the other instructions. So there are instructions for uh, Arch Linux, Debian, Fedora, which is what we're using today, uh, FreeBSD, Gentoo, uh, a bunch of other options as well. So for me, I'm going to be clicking on the installation subsection of Fedora. All right, so basically all I have to do is follow these steps and I've got a couple of terminals in the back here that I'm gonna to use to kind of demonstrate the steps uh, going step by step. The first step is to remove the ZFS fuse module and frankly, I don't have that. I don't know that anybody has that, but you know, if you happen to have that, you wanna remove that because that's no longer maintained and it's really uh, no longer necessary. It's rather obsolete. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the next step, which is to install the, um, the repository RPM. So I'm gonna copy this command here and I'm gonna run this uh, with pri uh, root privileges. So I'm gonna escalate to a root shell first and then I'll go ahead and paste this. So this is basically just going to install the RPM that provides the ZFS repository. All right, so the next step is to install the ZFS package. Now you may also want to install the kernel development headers like that. But in my case, I already have that installed, so I actually don't need that. But the reason for that is because this is going to be setting up a DKMS uh, package so that the ZFS modules are built every time you install a kernel. And so it, since it's being compiled and built every time, you're going to need the kernel development headers in order to, um, for it to be able to compile that code. So in my case, I don't really need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that. So we'll go ahead and do the ZFS install. And you can see that it's going to be pulling the ZFS package, libzfs5, libzpool5, and uh, zfs-dkms. All right, so this part of the installation is going to take a while. So be patient with it. Over on the right side, you'll see I have a window, um, a terminal running HTOP, and you'll see that it's rather busy right now. And that's because the DKMS subsystem is now building the ZFS modules for the kernel that I'm running. So it looks like it's done building the ZFS modules for the kernel that I'm running. And it's also set up a bunch of startup services so that um, ZFS pools that are automatically detected are imported during boot. All right, so now one final thing I usually like to do uh, is to manually load the, the ZFS module to make sure that it actually loads okay. So we'll do mod probe ZFS and we didn't get any error messages, so that's a good sign. And finally, if you just wanna verify that the installation is complete, and just to also be aware of where the files are, uh, if you go into libmodules and go into the directory with the kernel that you're running, so in my case, I am running kernel 54.160, 
and so I'll go into that subfolder and all the kernel related files are in this uh, subfolder so if I believe if I go into extra yeah so here are all the ZFS uh, related modules as well as you'll see a subfolder for my NVIDIA driver and stuff like that but that's unrelated to this anyway these uh, files that are in red are basically all the modules related to ZFS. So anyway, that's it to get ZFS running. And at this point, you can probably run the zpool command, although uh, I'll run zpool status. I don't have any ZFS pools set up yet, but I will have some uh, very interesting ZFS setups that I don't think I've ever seen anybody else do. Uh, for a workstation setup that I think is going to be rather interesting. And I want to share that with you guys. So stay tuned for my upcoming videos on setting up ZFS storage on this HP Z840. It's not going to be what you think it might be. But anyway, uh, stay tuned for those. Now, if you like this video, make sure to give me that thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you like this sort of stuff, consider subscribing to this channel. Also, if you'd like to support this channel, I have an eBay store with all sorts of server and workstation parts. So uh, if you want to support me, go check out my eBay store. I'll leave a link down in the video description below. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.